Salman says, is it permissible to eat sweets with gelatin that are available in the Western markets? What about the gelatin powder that you get in the supermarkets for making desserts? This issue of gelatin is an issue of dispute. We know that gelatin is made primarily from animals. So if it is halal animals like sheep, cows, camels that were slaughtered in a halal way, we have no problem in that. No one doubts the permissibility of that. The problem is when it is made of dead meat or even made of pork where the issue comes up because the meat is nudges. So how can we eat it? So the scholars were divided as usual. One say it is haram without any further discussion because of the presence of such haram ingredients. And this is safest opinion of all. The second group of scholars said that we have a concept in Islam that is called istihala, which means roughly to transformation. So a substance that is impure, that is najis, that is haram, if it is transferred totally to a new substance that is not related in its physical or chemical characteristics to the first one, then it becomes halal. And they give an example of a dog that falls in a pit of salt. You know, at some beaches you'll find a pit of salt where seawater collects and it dries and then there's the salt that remains there. If a dog falls in one, dies, and a few weeks later we come and we find that the dog itself, the body, the hair, the bones, due to the effect of the salt, is no longer existing. It vanished. It turned itself not by itself, but it was turned into salt. So there's no smell, no color, no remains. Scholars say that the salt itself is halal and it is permissible to consume. How? A dog just died. Yes, but it was transformed into a new substance, which is salt. Likewise, when we get milk from a cow, for example, the origin of milk is blood and whatever is in uh, uh, the guts of, of the intestines of the uh, cow and things, bleh, things that are not pure. But look what it turned into, milk. No one can say that milk is haram because the origin of the milk is not pure. But now milk itself is a totally different substance. So this group of scholars considered gelatin part of this process because the haram meat undergoes a rigorous process that changes it totally to a new substance. So this is what I feel comfortable with, but definitely the most safest opinion is to avoid it. And if you have alternatives, you are highly recommended to avoid it, and Allah Azza wa Jal uh, knows best.